Hi guys, it's Cindy Leach, your polymer clay tutor, and today's studio tip. I'm going to show you how to silk screen on polymer clay with Pearlex powders and chalk pastels. Now I have shown you um, how to silk screen on polymer clay before, but I showed you how to use paint. And this time I want to show you how to do it with um, dry materials. And I'm going to show you with some of Tanya Lenderman's from Tanya's Treasures. She sent me a bunch of silk screens um, and some rubber stamps. In fact, the um, Sutton Slice video that we just did um, doing this particular project, it was using her stamps. But this time I'm going to be using her silk screens. And I've got them in a little box here, but um, she's got quite a wonderful variety of silk screens. And I'm going to show you a bunch of um, a bunch of them and how the patterns look. But you can use all kinds of different dry powders on polymer clay through silk screens. And I've got some of the samples here. Um, the different uh, dry powders that I've used are some Pearlex powders. And I've got a big stack of them here. And I'll show you how to use them in a second. But I just wanted to show you the different things I've used. I also have um, used some Pan Pastel. I only have this one color. I'm going to have to get a big collection of those. And I used uh, Chalk Pastels. And you can also use, using the same techniques, you can also use things like eyeshadow. So whether it's the loose eyeshadow like this one here which is very, very similar to working with um, the Perlex powders or the um, more solid kind. And any of the sparkles, any of the matte finishes, any kind of uh, dry powder will work really well with this technique. All right, so what I'm gonna do is quickly show you some samples and then um, I will uh, show you how to do it. Okay, so I've got a bunch of different um, samples here. This one here turned out really neat looking. Um, it's on some uh, souffle clay and it is using this particular uh, silk screen here that has like an Egyptian look to it. And you can see I just used a certain section. I used um, three different colors of Pearlex powders. Um, I think it was like a, a golden color here, a color called mink. And then I think it was the antique or sunset gold or something like that. So I used three different colors of gold metallics and it, um, just to give it a little bit more depth. I think that one is very pretty. This one, I picked out some ones from Tanya because they're unusual. You don't see them usually like this. And this one in particular, I'll show you, I'll pick this up off the glass here. None of these are baked yet. Um, so they're just on the raw polymer clay. Um, this one here looks like um, like a circuit board for a computer. I even mixed the green color using some uh, Primo green, this bright green color here. Um, I mixed a little bit of black into it to get it the same color as a circuit board. And then I silk screened that one with um, gold, Aztec gold uh, Pearlex powder. Isn't that so cute? I think it'd be fun to make some, some geekery um, uh, jewelry and stuff like that. All right, so this one here is also another one of my favorites. To me, I think this looks like um, amoebas. And this one, here is the silk screen here. <laughs> it looks like little, little science-y kind of things. Um, I use three different color Pearlex powders on this one. I use like spring green and salmon pink and uh, the pumpkin orange color. And uh, I just love how this one looks. This one here looks like stone. And I think it would be a really neat one to do um, with, like, for, with all the fairy door stuff and all the different, uh, if you wanted to do, like, walls or walkways or all kinds of different things with uh, polymer clay. And I used um, a few different colors of chalk pastels on this one. I used um, actually a navy blue, some um, like a rust color, and uh, some gray. I'm going to show you some a neat little smudging technique with that one in a bit. This one here, I've got, I use this 
this floral pattern, which is really delicate and beautiful. And I used it in two different ways on this black clay. This clay piece here, which I think just looks stunning, I used the pearl, pearl white Pearlex powder. And that one shows the detail really nicely. And then on this one, this is a very subtle look. It has, um, um, now hopefully the camera picks it up, but I used um, the color called Carbon Black. So it's a matte finish black and I used it on black clay. And I don't know, can you pick that up, Doug? Yes, he can, okay. So it's a matte on shiny surface and I think it looks really cool. It has that, um, kind of the look of velvet or a brocade or something like that. I don't know, I just love that um, matte on shiny contrast. This one here is with the Ginkgo silk screen. And to get that look there, I used the Pan Pastels. And I used a heavier um, amount of the pan pastels on the bottom half of these leaves and a lighter amount on the top. And so it almost has a shading look to it. And then the last samples that I have here, I wanted to show you the contrast of using the same pattern with the same color of um, Pearlex powder. So in this case, the Pearlex powder that I used was called Pink Gold. I used it on white here and I used it on gold here. This one is much more subtle um, and you don't see the contrast as well, but they both have a really unique and pretty look to them. And that one was using uh, this particular um, silk screen here. I don't have the names of them. Um, I will uh, put some links to them later. All right, so let me show you how to do this. And it's really simple. It's, um, it's easier to do than using paint. I'm gonna do this one here. Oh, I'm gonna do this one first. I'm gonna do this one with, uh, let's do that amoeba one, it's so cute. And I just wanna show you what it looks like. Um, now, there's, there are two sides to her stint, uh, silk screens, but you can use them either way. Some silk screens don't work both ways, but hers do. And, um, but uh, if you can see her, the words on it the proper way, then that's the right side up. And you just wanna make sure it's stuck down to the clay. And then you just wanna use, your per I'm gonna use Perlex powders on this one. And I'll do the similar kind of pattern to what I did before. And I'm gonna use the salmon pink and the, what's that one called? Bright yellow. Oh, I didn't use that one before. Oh, that's okay. We'll use it this time. And we're gonna use pumpkin something, pumpkin orange. And I'm just gonna use a Q-tip. And I'm gonna dip into my um, Perlex powders and I'm gonna rub it onto the clay where I want it. So I'm gonna rub onto the silk screen, pushing it through the mesh. So the open areas on, on a silk screen are kind of like, they're a mesh. So like a, like a fly screen or whatever like that, a window screen. And then the pink areas on the silk screen are filled in with a polymer. So they have open spaces in, in the um, white areas. I'm gonna dip into the pink now and put a different color in the center here. Now you need a, a fair amount on there, but you can just rub it right in through the screen. And then I'll grab another one and grab, put some yellow over here. And you can, put, you can put different colors in different areas. So you can focus it how you want it to go. So you get the idea, you can rub right through the screen. Oh, I should have picked some green or something for more contrast. There we go. I'm not gonna do this to the whole thing because it, it takes a while. But so all you have to do is rub it through the screen and then when you lift off the screen, and be careful not to, to get the powder everywhere. See how easy that is and how cool that looks? And it just, 
<laughs> it just looks so sparkly and so pretty and so easy to do. Now you do need to be really careful that you don't smudge it because right now it is vulnerable to smudging, but you can cut it out, you can bake it. It'll go on there very hard. Um, you couldn't, it's surprising how well it bakes into the clay with, but if it, you're having it, if you're using it on a piece of jewelry or something that will get rubbed, then you can um, add a coating on top of it, some sort of finish, um, and uh, that can protect it to keep it from getting rubbed off. But it does really bake into the clay quite well. Now, I want to show you the chalk pastels and how easy those are to work with. Just put those there. Now, I've got a set here that I got at Michael's. There's tons of different kinds. They're, um, they're called soft pastels often, though they're fairly hard. Um, so I'm not totally sure why they're called soft pastels, but they are softer, I suppose, than some other kinds. Now, I'm going to use a piece of white clay this time. And I'm just going to use this stencil because I haven't used this one yet. It's not a stencil, it's silk screen. I'm going to stick it down to the clay. And you just don't want any air pockets so that it's not, um, you know, so it's stuck down to the clay and, and you can push the, the chalk through the screen a lot better. But here, look at how easy this is. So I, because there's kind of a bit of a, a tooth to the screen, um, you can actually just color right onto the screen with your chalks. And so especially with these, some of these designs that look like um, some of the latest coloring books, you can go around and um, just color right onto the screen. It grabs onto it and kind of grates it off. You don't even have to shave any of it off anywhere. And um, it's so easy to do and so easy to control. So let's see. I just want to get kind of a similar look here. Now let's do... Oh, I guess it, I'm in a um, pink and uh, orange kind of mood. <laughs> I love those colors together. So I'm going to put that around here. Now you want to make sure it's worked right in. So you can either do it... Um, just this way or you can also take your finger and kind of rub it in or use a, um, a q-tip or something like that. So let's see. You can blend colors too if you want. We can, we can blend them up around the edges here too. And let's see, let's put a, pop in another um, bright color. Maybe some turquoise or something. That'd be fun. I won't spend all day coloring, but I think you really get the gist here. Maybe if I add a little bit more over here. Then if you want to blend it in, make sure that it's worked right into all the different spots. Let's just do a little more here. Okay. You can use like a Q-tip, like I said, you can work it in, make sure there isn't too much loose powder sitting on the top. And, and it's all into the screen. You can blend it and that kind of thing. So I would probably work on this just a little bit longer, but I don't want to take up too much time. It should be in there pretty good. And then all you have to do is lift it up gently. And you get this wonderful, cool technique. Looks like tie-dyed. Now, in the areas where it's a little bit fainter, I could have worked a little bit longer on that, but that's no problem. It looks absolutely beautiful. Once this is baked too, you could also paint in little the different areas or color in. Lots of neat things. Now I wanted to show you something that you can do as well. So here's this one done with the chalk pastels with the stones on it. And it looks quite neat, but it also looks really cool if you lightly rub it. So if I just lightly rub it, what happens is, is the colors all kind of smudge, but they stay the darkest in the areas where the, um, 
well, in the areas where they were originally silk screened. There's also a slight amount of texture there because the screen texture showed through and it can look quite cool. So I just thought I would show you that. So play and play and play and play with this idea. Use all kinds of different materials. Um, if, you, if it turns out bad and you don't like it, you can actually either blend the chalks or the Pearl X powders right back into the clay and just try it again. Or you can wash it off. You can actually take something like a baby wipe or a damp cloth and you can get a lot of the powders back off again. Um, or you can, well, in this case, I can't at all. <laughs> it's been sitting there for too long. But if it's fresh, you can um, actually take um, rubbing alcohol or something. You can wash it off if you wanted to. So, and then the, what you do with the um, screens, once they're all dirty like this, you just want to put them in the sink with some soap and water and scrub them really well so that there aren't any um, little uh, particles or anything stuck in the, in the screen because you want to save it so it's in good condition for the next time you use it. All right, so I hope that was helpful. Do check out um, Tanya's, uh, all Tanya's silk screens and stamps. She has them on, in her Etsy store called Tanya's Treasures. And uh, it's spelt kind of an unusual way. It's T-O-N-J-A. And um, she has some really unique designs. She makes them all herself. She makes them in the U.S. and makes them actually in her in her home. So um, they're different than what you'll see out there. And she's got lots of neat patterns and designs and things. So you want to check her out. All right. So I hope you like this video. If you do did, do let us know. And if you've got a technique that you would like to learn more about, a uh, product that you would like me to test, a book you'd like me to review, anything in regards to polymer clay that you need more answers on and you can't find a video um, on it, then do leave your suggestions in the comment section below. All right, so we'll see you next time and bye for now. Thank <laughs> you.